Today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I eat to go from 185 pounds to make my weight class of lightweight at 155 pounds. I'm gonna take you through my exact meals through the day and show you my exact diet, of what it's like to be an MMA fighter and what we eat. Let's get to it. Today we're gonna to be going over what I eat in a day, exactly. I'm gonna take you from breakfast all the way to, to dinner. And I'm gonna basically bring you with me from meal to meal. And being an MMA fighter, it's super important what we eat. You know, step number one, we have to make weight for our fight. That's half the battle. If you don't make weight, then chances are you get fined, you lose money, and the promoter really doesn't like it either, so chances are he might not bring you back. We got to figure out what we put in our body. You know, I'm constantly training hard every day, taxing my body. So I really need to watch what I put into it. You know, kind of like a top shelf race car. You know, it doesn't take the exact, you know, gasoline you'd get at the store from for anybody else, but it takes special, special gasoline. So that's kind of what I look at for my food is fuel for the body. Right now, I'm exactly four and a half weeks out from my fight, so I'm in the thick of things. I've been on my diet now for four weeks, and um, this is a perfect time to share with you guys exactly what I eat. I start my diet basically about eight to 10 weeks out, and I walk around usually about 185 pounds naturally, and sometimes I can even get up to 190 pounds. So what this diet does for me is it gets my weight down to 170 pounds, 169 pounds, and that's when I kind of do my weight cut from there. I cut the weight, drop down to hit 155 pound weight class, and then I hydrate back up and uh, get back ready to fight, close to 170. If you haven't checked out my video on how to cut weight, check it out. I go into detail about exactly the, the weight cut. But for now, this video is just gonna be about the diet. Make sure to stick around to the whole video because I'm gonna give you my exact diet that I use to get down to 155 pound weight class at the end. So first things first, every single day when I wake up, starting my diet, the first thing I do is smash that like button and subscribe. <laughs> Seriously, it helps out a lot and uh, I don't know where I would be without you guys smashing that like button and subscribing. Let's get to it. So for my first meal of the day, breakfast. This is probably my favorite meal overall because I like to wake up, get the body ready, get some good food in me, and hit the day strong. So I start off, I have a one-third cup of dry oatmeal and one serving of fruit. So I usually do some banana with some cinnamon in my oatmeal, and then I'll have half of a, an orange, which is right here. I'll have one cup of egg whites, with a couple servings of vegetables in it. And always I'll have my cup of coffee right here. And this is it. I mean, this is pretty standard for my morning breakfast. Sometimes the vegetables change, sometimes the, the fruits change, but this is the, the layout, the outline every day, the breakfast that I eat. And sometimes too, if I'm looking to get my weight down a little bit more and I'm you know a little heavy, I'll do cardio before I eat my breakfast. So I'll wake up and I'll do 45 minutes, sometimes an hour of just a light jog. Nothing fast, nothing crazy. Just a good steady pace jog, burn some fat, come in right now, hit my, my oatmeal, my, my eggs, my proteins, and just get a good nutritious meal in my body. And that's my breakfast. All right, so next up is what I use for my workout shakes because that's a big part of my working out. I burn a lot of calories and everything when I'm working out, so I wanna make sure I have some type of shake with me while I'm at my workout so my body is, as soon as I'm burning, burning fat, burning carbs, burning calories, burning all that, I have something immediately to put back into my body. There's about a 30 minute window after you work out that your body craves carbs, proteins, and uh, any type of vitamins and nutrition you can get back into it. So it's super important, make sure, have something with you while you work out. So I'm actually just gonna make my shake because I have another workout this, uh, this today scheduled. So first things first, 
is I got my BCAs, my aminos. So I usually right here, when I wake up or before my workout, I'll take two scoops, two level scoops. Boom, one, two. So that right there is to make sure if I have a hard workout that when my muscles are breaking down that and I'm lower on calories, my muscles aren't gonna be like uh, eating itself up. I'm gonna be recovering very quickly because when you have hard workouts and I'm, I'm at a calorie deficit, sometimes what the body will do is it'll start eating itself, right? Because it needs energy, it needs a calorie. So these BCAs really help to make sure that I'm not eating into my muscles and I'm burning just body fat. So that's why BCAs are so important. Next up, I have my super greens and I usually do one level scoop of this and this is good for anti-inflammatory, helping with uh, the inflammation from all the working out and uh, helping keep my body alkalized and healthy. Greens are just overall really, really good. I mean, on the back here, it's got uh, all kinds of vitamin A, C, K. So just making sure my body's healthy. Because the last thing we wanna do, we don't wanna get sick. And this kind of helps with all of that. So I take one level scoop, boom, right there. Now, next up is my protein right here. This is, this is important too. This is again, breaking down my muscles, just constantly beating my body up. So this is helping repair, helping me recover. I usually do the little chocolate flavor because I love chocolate. And I'll do, uh, depending on how, how tough the workout is, I'll do anywhere from a half scoop to uh, a full scoop. My, uh, my workout later isn't too crazy. So I'll just do like a half of a scoop right there. Ooh. Also too, right before I go work out, I always take my, uh, my fish oils because uh, the diet that I'm on, it's a lower fat diet. So I wanna make sure I'm getting my omegas, my fish oils, good for the brain, just good for the overall body healthiness. So I'll take one of these with me. So that right there is my during and post workout shake. What I'll do is I'll basically kind of fill this up with water and I'll, as I'm working out, I'll drink maybe half of it. And then as immediately as I'm done working out, I'll fill it back up with water, the, what's rust in it, and I'll smash that immediately right after my workout. So I notice huge recovery. I notice if I don't have it, I notice I, I crash right after a workout. I'm like, oh, I'm very tired and it's hard for me to get back up. But if I, if I have this workout with me and immediately following my workout, I, uh, I basically do a little dip, but then I'm back up. I can continue working out. My body's recovered and I can get on to the next workout. Now it's snack time. So for my snack, I have two of them a day and it's my second meal of the day. After breakfast, before dinner, my fourth meal of the day, I'll have a snack. And what my snack consists of is a half cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt one cup of fruit and today we have some strawberries we have some grapes we have some banana also too i have one tablespoon of mixed nuts and today i'm going with almonds that's usually my good go-to i'll have one scoop of protein i have some chocolate protein right here and i'll just usually put it in some water or maybe some almond milk and i'll put it in my shaker Boom, shake it all up i'll be drinking that with my yogurt and fruit bowl and then I also will have one fish oil capsule. So this snack right here, it's great. It's very, very nutritious and it helps fill me up. I feel very full after it. And that's important when uh, I'm on my diet. All right, just got done with a good little workout. Time to refuel up. So I have my lunch right here. I have a little black in tilapia. This is about six ounces. This is really good for you. Lots of proteins, low in calories, just all around just really, really good for your, your inflammation, your, your muscles. Right here I have a little coleslaw salad. This has some lettuce, some cabbage, a little bit of like a balsamic vinaigrette to it. And my fiance put a little, little pinch of uh, feta cheese on it, which is still low calories and is just delicious. Over here we have our bow tie pasta this is two ounces cooked and it's got some cucumbers with it a little bit of italian dressing and just again a little pinch of feta cheese really helps bring out some flavor really helps kind of make the meals not just taste 
so generic, so plain. And also too, I have my uh, my fish oil right here. Cannot forget about this. This is good for the heart, good for the head. I do get punched in the head a lot, so I wanna make sure I'm getting those omegas, make sure I'm taking care of my brain as much as possible. And this is it. Don't forget, I'm, I'm drinking a gallon of water throughout the day. That's very important. I'm staying hydrated. And minimum, I'm drinking a gallon of a water. So let's smash some of this lunch. So now again, I'll be eating the same thing for my fourth meal right before dinner. I usually switch up the fruits a little bit, but it's the exact same thing for my fourth meal of the day. All right, it's the weekend. I'm actually out right now, getting to watch the fight here at my boy's house. And uh, sometimes you gotta adjust and, and bring your food with you. And that's what I did today. Packaged all my meal, cooked it up a little bit beforehand and uh, have it here with me so I'm not breaking the diet, I'm staying strong. I got my six ounces of meat today, lean beef, pork tenderloin, bomb. My uh, fiance cooked it up, put a little uh, sauce on it, it's delicious. Right here I have a uh, serving of green beans. I have my, for my carb today, I have half cup of black beans. Really good, got some protein, some fiber in there. And then right here I have some more greens. I have onions, cucumber, and a little Islamic uh, vinaigrette. So again, a good protein, lean, low fat, and uh, helps with my training, getting my weight down. So this is my last big meal for today. So that's it. That's basically my diet, my outline for that I use for the eight to 10 weeks. I have my breakfast in the morning, I have my snack, my lunch, my snack, and then I have my dinner. And it basically stays exactly the same, just some of the foods change out but the outline, the diet, all stays the same. Also too guys, I'm gonna be putting some links down below to the supplements that I use. So if anybody's interested, wants to, to use some of the supplements that I have that help me get lean and mean, check it out. I'm gonna put down some of my uh, favorite links to my favorite cardio equipment that I use, because that's huge for me. That helps me get in shape and helps get my weight down as well. So it's been great kicking it with you guys, and until next time.